Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're here to take note of the fact that journalism is alive and well and feisty, especially at the New York Times. Hey, did you send it? He's lying. There's two A1 meetings, 10.30, where we discuss the stories of the day, what we're going to offer. What's kind of a competition? You go in there, we fight to get on A1. We are the New York Times, and we are dictating terms. At the tender age of 31, I still had a year left to being the violent, drug-snorting thug before I found my way to this guy, the one with a family and a job at the New York Times. All right, well, here's the lead. The Times was really where I wanted to work from when I was very young. I always had this idea of the place where great things happen and were done. Oh, good, my sources are starting to come out. I don't know why anybody who's a reporter isn't on Twitter. You see him at his desk, and he just embodies everything about new media. I still can't get over the feeling that Brian Stelter was a robot assembled to destroy me. The old newspaper model is dying. It's this kind of collision of two worlds, and this new world that just kind of wants to crack it all open. So this is about WikiLeaks, which is a website. They didn't have to drop this off on the front step of NBC News or the New York Times. They just dropped it off on YouTube and waited for everybody else to find it. The bottom line is, you know, WikiLeaks doesn't need us. In the immediate moment, we're in the middle of cutting 100 people out of a staff. How scared are you right now? I've been a single parent on welfare. This is nasty. I almost feel like I don't have a clear grasp on the enormity of, of the situation. Could the New York Times, like, go out of business? If you think of the history of these institutions, Watergate, Abu Ghraib, I think we're at a dangerous moment in American journalism. Some stories are beyond the database. Sometimes people have to walk past the conventional wisdom. They asked if anybody who wanted to volunteer for Baghdad, so I'm going to Iraq. News is not dying. The Times still, I think to a remarkable degree, does set the agenda. The New York Times has dozens of bureaus all over the world, and we're going to toss that out and uh, kick back and see what Facebook turns up. I don't think so.